Google is shutting down its woke AI chatbot in less than two weeks. The program called Gemini facing backlash for its politically correct but historically inaccurate responses to users' prompts. One phony image depicted a founding father as a black man. Another prompt producing images of black and female figures when asked to show ancient Roman emperors. Google addressing the criticism, saying, we're working to improve these kinds of depictions immediately. Gemini's AI image generation does generate a wide range of people, and that's generally a good thing because people around the world use it, but it's missing the mark here. Jesse, the executives seemed to be surprised that this was happening, and it seems to me it's almost like when Bud Light didn't realize that they were doing this big partnership with Dylan Mulvaney and they lost all this market share. I mean, something like this, you've got to be on top of it. Yeah, when I first saw the picture of the Black Viking, I immediately thought it was some Scandinavian guy in blackface, and I was deeply offended. So then I Google AI the Swedish bikini team, Dana, and they were all black. Mm. And then I Google AI Baywatch, and David Hasselhoff had this enormously magnificent afro. <laughs> And then I Google AI'd NHL hockey player, and I got a picture of Michael Jordan on skates with no teeth. And then I started digging deeper, and I started Googling AI the Jamaican bobsled team. Yep. All black. Mm. They are. And then I Googled... <laughs> are you making this up? Terrorist. Yes. And the terrorist was the Unabomber, Ted Kaczynski. And then I Googled a Fox News host, and it came out to be Harold. So I dug deeper. I Google AI'd OJ, okay. and it was just a glass of Tropicana. Mm -hmm. So I Google AI deeper, OJ Simpson, mm -hmm. and OJ was white, Dana. Mm -hmm. Very confused Are by all of this. And then I Google AI Dennis Rodman, and it was a picture of Rodman with a blonde wig and a dress. And they realized that was a real That's picture. Accurate. That was. Right. <laughs> but what you're really looking at here is, what's my point? Yep. Yes. Yes. I'm asking you guys what, what my point <laughs> <laughs> this is a war on the white man, Harold, and like the war on Christmas, I am down for the struggle. Okay? They have 16, 19 projected the internet, and it's probably because of this one engineer who was some geek squad guy who is, yeah. probably had white guilt, and they hired him to basically rewire the internet based on his insecurities, and he's basically erasing all the white men and then spreading all everything else into the black people. And I figured, why would this be happening? Because they told us that white European heritage was evil and oppressive. So why would they be infusing black people into white European heritage? It doesn't make any sense. So I must think to myself, Jesse Waters, um, is it really because the left actually does feel like the white European heritage is glorious and they just want to spread it around to black Americans? But then I thought to myself, why don't they just make the black history as glorious as it is? And then I thought to myself, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesse Waters, in 200 years, will Jesse the fourth Google his great great grandfather? What will I look like, Greg? You'll be Sonny Hostin. <laughs> <laughs> you got enough hair. <laughs> yeah. Harold, what do, you, what do you make of all this? Like, Jesse really paints an interesting picture. I'm trying to get through the thought process. Jesse had a lot of thoughts there. The, I did. Um, <laughs> a couple things. It, it clearly has made a mistake here. I think, um, and they've got to figure out how to, how to get it right. Um, but the history of our country is a glorious history. It's a big history. It's a sprawling history. It sometimes is a little ugly, sometimes beautiful. Uh, and sometimes challenges us to, to, to try to make, make the present better. This and the future better. This is... Um, maybe they thought they were doing something to make it better. I, I don't, can't quite put my hand on it. Maybe some more thoughts from you, Jesse, will help us try to come up with something positive they were doing, but hopefully they get this right, uh, because this is something we're going to rely on a whole lot in the future. Uh, and Harold V, uh, I want him to know that Harold III, my son, his grandfather, great-grandfather, was a good guy, uh, and we won't have it right if they don't get this stuff right. I think, Judge, when we talk about AI and artificial intelligence, it makes it sound like it's just being made up like in a lab by itself, making, generating itself, but it's not. There are people behind the AI, like creating it. And so there is an executive function here, and that's why 
Is that why Google stopped it? I mean, could, could they face legal problems? You know, I don't know if they could face legal problems, but I think they're losing their credibility. And, you know, mm. Jesse was referencing, or I, I think, uh, <laughs> the fact that, you know, whoever is feeding this information uh, to Google and pretty much the world, we get our information from Google, right? Well, the guy who's in charge of providing that for Gemini AI, if you follow his tweets, or his tweets go th like this, white privilege is real. Do your part to recognize bias at all levels. Jesus only cares about white kids. And this is America where racism is the number one value. Now, this is the guy who's feeding the information to the AI, and this is the higher. And so we shouldn't be surprised that what they're trying to do is create a level playing field. But as they do that, they're erasing history. And it's very consistent with what they did with the statues, you know, that recognized history and, and where we were and how far we've come. But this left-leaning agenda is, is fake news. It really is fake news. And it doesn't show the hurdles that we've had to overcome to get to where we we are. So, for example, if, if you had, I, I wrote it down here, oh, right, if you say to AI, uh, I want a diner from 1910, AI, according to this guy, this engineer, is going to have white people and black people just sitting at the mm -hmm. bar in a diner. Well, that's not accurate. Right. Because in 1910, they had the Jim Crow laws that were mm -hmm. horrible and awful. But we should show it for what it was. Right. Do you remember, Greg, I'm sure you do, when Elon Musk said that AI has a potential to destroy civilization, and he was mocked for it. Yeah, but this was part of that. Well, that's because it, remember, it's not the AI isn't racist. It's or or bias. It's the people who create it. Mm -hmm. So you're never going to escape it because bias is baked into the human system. I actually asked. I asked Gemini, does Jesse Waters wear a toupee? <laughs> now I wanted to. I wanted. I, I picked this because Gemini, Gemini is designed to be inoffensive, and to them. Whiteness is seen as offensive uh, in their brain. But this is, they go, determining whether Jesse Waters wears a toupee is impossible to definitively answer. No public statements from Jesse Waters or reliable sources confirm or deny the use of a toupee. That's how they operate on everything except race. race. And then they said it, they, they were missing the mark on this. They produced black Nazis. When a guy put in World War II German officers, they got black and Asian Nazis. That's not missing the mark. They're not sorry over the mistake. They're sorry that they got caught. This is, these are powerful entities that have to be monitored by us because they're circulating ideas and beliefs that are divisive and the temptation for these power-centric, identity-obsessed ideologues is too great to be trusted because it's so much, so power. So it's not the system, it's the people. Uh, you can't control bias. If you look at the, I'm gonna go on a little tear. If you look at the news, the news, as you know, is bifurcated. And that was because we came to the realization that news was always biased, but pretending that it wasn't. Mm -hmm. So realizing that it was an untapped, frustrated market, Fox arrives and it explodes provided balance and a highly balanced system. But the fact is you can't change bias even in that system because it's baked in. So the only way you can fix it is by catching it. And the solution will be a specialization. Your AI will be no different than any other aspects of your life guided by preferences and beliefs. So like, for example, it, when AI melds with the robotic world, you don't wanna have an artificial housekeeper that supports Hamas, right? You don't. Or if you get an AI brain chip, what if you suddenly want to watch Joy Reid? No, you're going to have to commit yourself. So the whole point is we're going to end up catering ourselves by selecting the type of AI that we want. It's just going to be like Fox News versus CNN and MSNBC. It's now going to be mm. in the AI world. I'm all for bringing back the hard copy encyclopedia for households. Yep. But, yep. That, but the point is you're going to have to be you're going to have to monitor it because it's never behind That's that. True. How do you know history is even maybe in that I'll, stuff? Maybe I will publish a set. Oh, the, a tiny set. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh Dana's little encyclopedias. That is a, that's a zillion dollar idea. The, look, Dana's set of little encyclopedias. Kids would go crazy. Go crazy I'm for your it. agent. Yes, Sean Desmond, hope you're paying attention. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.